What's good everybody, Sapphire, hope you're all having an amazing day. Well today guys, I'm really excited just because I got to run the Galaxy S8 ROM on my Galaxy Note 3 and I will be showing you guys how you can flash this ROM on your device. Well, starting off with this ROM guys, I'm gonna say I'm more impressed with the way this ROM actually looks like rather than the features with which this ROM actually comes with. And another good thing about this ROM is that it actually comes with Android 7.0 Nougat as you can see in the about device software information. Well guys, this is a Galaxy Note 7 ROM but it actually has the Galaxy S8 body stuff which I'll cover in a minute. So coming towards the home screen, by long pressing the home screen, you are granted with some options in the bottom where you can apply different wallpapers, apply different widgets and change the home screen settings. So here you can see you have the grid options. So to change the home screen grid option, you gotta click this button here and you can apply you know different uh, grid according to your taste and you can do the same thing with the app drawer and yeah guys one thing i wanna uh, share with you when you will first install this rom you will be like hey where's that app drawer button and how can i get inside of the app drawer well it's really simple all you have to do is to swipe either up or down on the home screen to get inside of the app drawer and you can do the same thing here uh, to get out of the app drawer to access the notification panel guys you simply have to swipe from top to bottom and you will get some widgets and swiping one more time you will get even more widgets and as always guys we also have the always on display option here uh, just like we had in the Galaxy S7 Edge ROM so let me just simply turn it out to show you how does that actually looks like while the screen is off so at the moment my screen is off guys and I hope you can actually see the time being shown on the edge of the device it really looks cool man and you can also change the layout of this clock by going in side of always display on uh, more settings and here by clicking on the, the layouts you get really a number of beautiful beautiful layouts and you can change uh, the layout according to your taste now getting inside of app guys uh, i'm gonna show you uh, one more cool app which enables you to change the look of your overall system so this is the forget rom control app where you can actually change the overall look of your device so let me just simply uh, change the lock screen settings so in the lock screen settings um, let me enable the lock screen flashlight so what this will do it will actually enable the flashlight while the screen is off so let me just show you how you can do that so my screen is off at the moment now by long pressing the volume up key you will see the flashlight being enabled and you can turn that off by simply pressing the volume down button and guys this room also comes with the edge panel as you can see here and you can tap on the settings icon to add more panels to your edge screen and this room also gives the S Pen functionality as you can see here now let's get inside of the camera application by double tapping the home key and here is the camera application guys which really really looks clean and well organized you can swipe from left to right to get to the features menu and from right to left to the filters page and in the conclusion guys I'm gonna say that it's a really nice ROM and I have been using this for like two days so far and from that perspective I'm gonna say that it has a good battery life I'm not gonna say it comes with the best battery timing but it has a pretty good battery timing and the question you might be asking right now would be should I try this from on my Galaxy Note 3 or not I'm gonna say you should try this but you might not find this uh, as a daily driver for yourself uh, but with the passage of time this room will get more stable and stable and now I'm gonna show you how you can flash it on your device so guys, to install this ROM on your device, uh, your phone should have a custom recovery installed on the device. Well, I'm actually using TWRP Recovery 2.8.7.0 on my device. If you don't have that, uh, the link is given in the description of this video. So uh, you actually need two files. One is the ROM with the OT update and second is the kernel. So say both of the files either on your SD card or on your internal storage and then boot up inside of the custom recovery. 
So guys, once you are inside of the custom recovery, click Vibe, Advanced Vibe. Here, select Delve Cache, System, Data and Cache. Once selected, swipe to vibe them up. After that, go back and here you have to move to the directory where you actually save your file. So first of all, uh, we have to flash Foget ROM Note 7 version 5N900X and here the Aroma installer will pop up. Here guys, click next, choose your device model number. It is really important and you should not mess up here. So for me, it's N9005 Note 3 International, click next. Click on full vibe one next and here choose which camera you would like to have on your device. I'm gonna go with the no good very stable. Click next. Finally click next once again. And this installation might take like five minutes or so. So give it some time and I'll show you what you have to do afterwards. So as you can see here guys the installation process is done. Click next. And here guys you don't have to check my reboot now option because there are still two more files which you have to flash so swipe to unlock go back and here is the phantom kernel so you have to flash this one first and then you have to flash the OTA update so go back click on the OTA update uh, flash this as well so after that you can go back and reboot your system. And guys, the first boot will take like 15 minutes, don't panic about that, uh, give it some time and if you face any queries, do let me know in the comments below, I will surely try my best to answer them up. And yeah, see you guys next time.